Guys, one and only Tobias back at it again, and today I'm bringing you an undefeated Prank Kids deck profile. Last night we went to Eternal Games in Warren, Michigan, and uh, we went 4-0. Matchups were round one played against Blackwing PK, uh, took a game three, thanks to some spice in the side, you'll see. Um, round two, we played against Shadals, 2-0 that, you know. And Ash was enough to stop him in his tracks, and then we just proceeded to go for a combo. Round three, played against Drytron, 2-0. Opened hand traps, and uh, you only need one kid to go off. And last but not least, round four, Blackwing PK again. And we stole it game three. Um, before we get started, a couple shout-outs. Shout-out to my team, Angel Gaming. Captain Ed, man, been killing it with MathMex. Make sure you go to his channel. I'll post a link in the description for that. Um, shout out to my boy uh, Tommy Newman for giving me some like helpful suggestions on the side and main deck options. Shout out to my boy Jerry and the rest of the Angel Squad. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. So first off, we have standard package, three Lampsies. Three dropsies, three fansies, and three roxies. Um, a lot of people have been cutting roxies down to two. Um, at first I was, but then at the same time, like I don't play desires in this deck, so I want to optimize opening up at least one kid. And roxy, seeing roxies definitely helped. I saw roxies more than anything, and like, like I said, you only need one kid to go off, so. Is that uh on to hand traps three ash three bell three valor three skullmeister and three imperm um we play 15 hand traps you know you play 12 uh, kids 15 hand traps and then like six polys so you optimize like you just completely optimize opening up with a fusion a kid in any of these hand traps round um, against drytron game uh two i opened bell valor and imperm and like after i imperm the i mean well after i valored the diviner and we ghost bell one of the drytron monsters he was forced to normal summon ash and make verte and after we pay cost we imperm so we stopped the dragoon and it was pretty much a wrap from that point uh on to spells pay triple poly um, I play this over Desires. Like I said, I want to optimize seeing a fusion card and a kid. And there's plenty of ways to, like, find a good kid. Like, you can open Place. Like, Place gets you a kid. You know, I saw I saw Polly a lot, too. And, like, um, it doesn't lock me into only summoning Prank Kids. So, if, I, if, if I'm able to, I can go on Access Code Talker to push for game. We play 3 Pandemonium. I don't really think I have to explain what this does. Three place. Really, place is really good. It helps with your uh, chain blocking so that you don't lose to your hand traps like the Ash and the Skullmeister. It really pays off. Plus, it like um, debuffs monsters when you link some in. When you fuse some, it buffs your monsters. Really good. Uh, then we play one pranks. Uh, came up maybe twice in two different uh, matches. Definitely good for a recursion. I don't think you need more than like you can play two if you like. I personally, I don't. I didn't feel like I needed two because like you, they're so easy to like search. You, like, you search it off doodle doodle. You can send it off uh, fanzies and then like put it back in hand. You know, it, and it just like generates more uh, card advantage for you because. On end phase, you can like shuffle back, and then you have a good chance of drawing a hand trap. And for one of these are like these next two are extenders, so instant fusion and Monster reborn. Uh, Monster reborn definitely came in clutch, and uh, so did the instant fusion because like um, if I knew my opponent had an ash because they added it off of prosperity, I would just like I open like instant fusion and fancy, so I'd instant fusion for a rocket ride. 
and then like we'd uh, normal fanzies and then I just like chain a uh, link to, link for two into a doodle immediately and just chain block the fancy so I can go off like if doodle doesn't go off like if they ask you doodle that's fine because you're still going to get what you need because fancies alone just sets up the basically sets it up for you like it's still nice to have the doodle resolve but if it doesn't that's fine um just a heads up droll doesn't really hurt this deck um a lot of people were trying to like droll me after I like doodle doodle but at that point it was just kind of too late and like even if they draw you in response to the after the place resolves that lets you search, it still doesn't help much because you don't have to exactly always resolve Doodle's effect. You can easily just like Fanzies puts it in graveyard and then you just Doodle put the Fanzies back in hand. Or well, not the Fanzies, but the uh put the pandemonium back in hand or anything else that's like sent to graveyard because doodle like lets you recur from grave to hand and droll only stops deck to hand so that's what that is <laughs> and last but not least called by the grave never saw it in any of my matches never came up you know it's, like i said we got hand trapped a lot but we still managed to pull it through and get the dub um that's it uh 40 card main deck on to the extra deck Triple Meow, uh, Triple Doodle, one Bow Wow Bark, one Roaring Roaster, one Rocket Ride, one Weather Washer, and one Butler. Um, I may change, I may like add a, a second uh, Bow Wow Bark because there's something else I plan on dropping that never came up at any of my matches. But other than that, like, this is just a standard package, you know, not really much to explain. Oh, and also about the main deck, I don't play Desires. It's not that it's a bad card in this deck because it's definitely good for, like, getting extra draw power, like, regenerating hand advantage. But I don't really think you necessarily need Desires now because you're playing, like, like I said, you're playing 15 hand traps. You're playing six fusions, and you're basically playing 12. Well, not 12. You're playing 15 kids if you count place, because place gets you a, a, a kid of your choice. So, with that, like optimizing on that, you're just you're basically optimizing opening up with a prank kid and a fusion card. Like I said, so like you can play desires, you can play tactics. Like if you do, that's fine. I may cut poly down to two, possibly. And probably drop called by for two tactics. We'll see how um, things progress forward. Um, you have the one tree toad. I made this tool two or three times, I believe. I think three times in different uh, round and different rounds. Definitely came up. Uh, got baited into like negating the harpy feather dust to protect the pandemonium and uh we lost uh, it lost it to evenly but i still stole the game from that so no love lost there uh we play the asa the earth charmer uh a movable never came up at all honestly uh i might i'm probably gonna drop this for a second bow wow bark because i think i feel like there was a time where i did wish i had a second bow wow bark but um, I'm gonna like test this build. I'm gonna test this build out again because I put this build together the day before yesterday, and I wanted to test it out because I'm trying to like see if I want to play this for a tournament coming up next month. Then we have the unicorn and the Axis Code Talker. Axis Code Talker only made it once today, like yesterday. Only made it once. Um, Unicorn just for the spin back, you know, just like I said, self explanatory. On to the side deck, we play Triple Nibiru, Triple Antia, and Three Droll. Um, I found myself siding Nib and Droll. 
I didn't like run into any matchup where I needed to uh, side Lancia. And when I sided like Nib and Droll, I didn't see them until like a turn late. It's not that they weren't good. I just didn't open with them and that's perfectly fine. It happens. But these are definitely good hand traps. Um, I feel like Lancia, for some reason, people are dropping Lancia in their side decks. And I don't think that's correct because Virtual World is definitely becoming more and more popular. Um, you also have to deal with Tribrigate. Like this in standby phase stops Tribrigate. It also kind of shuts down... Um, it shuts down invo Invocation too because it's not negating the Invocation. It's just stopping you from banishing. Next up, Triple Twin Twisters. Uh, we didn't play it against any back row deck, so it never came up. You know, this was, like I said, this was a local, so, like, sometimes stuff's going to come up, sometimes it won't. Like, your your build depends on your playing environment. If you're going to a locals, you know, side for locals. If you're going to a bigger event, side for the meta. And last but not least, uh, Triple There Can Be Only One. This card cited it for two different rounds i only saw it round one game three going first and it pretty much stopped the pk black wing player in his tracks he couldn't go into his y tricks and do his combos you know just just stopping him right there like it was i turned into a simplified game state of where i'm just gonna have my prank his monsters that are bigger than yours like bigger than your monsters just swing over you and do lethal um, and that'll do it for the side deck. Uh, hope you guys like what you saw. If you haven't already sub to the channel, I greatly appreciate it. We are at six as of the time of recording this video. We're at sixty subs on the way to hundred. When we get to hundred, we're gonna do two giveaways. So two winner. So two two. We're gonna have two lucky winners when we get to hundred subscribers. So make sure you like, sub, share, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Let me know what you want to see more of, and um, that'll do it. Uh, it's Tobias1017, signing out. Be blessed. Stay healthy, and uh, don't eat the Tide Pods.